this week in post, contrast, noise, and a little bit of a look at Photo Raw. Hi everybody, I'm Scott Davenport, and welcome to In Post. Today's episode's a Q&A episode. I'm going to talk about a couple of the questions that have come in over the last few weeks. And uh, if you have a question about photography or about post-processing, go ahead and hit me up through my website, comments on the video, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, pick a platform, chances are you're going to find me. And with that, let's just get right into it. First question is from Pete, and he asked, I'm adding an HDR look in On One Effects, and it's adding noise to the image. You know, how do I combat that? Okay, well, uh, when I first heard this question, uh, the, the most immediate thing that popped into my head was, we're not actually adding noise, we're probably going too far on the contrast. Now, if you're doing some pre-processing of your image in Lightroom or you know, any other tool where you're adding some clarity or some basic contrast adjustments, and then you go in and add more contrast in another tool, well, these tools are looking for edges. And especially in something like uh, a clear blue sky, we're gonna start to see some noise. So um, I'm gonna show you here, uh, I'm using Photo Raw, the pre-release, so the screenshots might not be final, but uh, this would be a, a good enough place as any to go and look at things. So I'm gonna zoom into this blue sky area here. Now I haven't done any retouching or dust spots or things like that, but let me go over into the effects module. I'm gonna add an HDR look. Okay. And I'm really gonna start to pump this stuff up. And what we're gonna to start to find as I go farther and farther and farther, all this area in the sky here, this was clear blue sky, and now it's getting crunchy, it's getting grainy. Well, that's what happens when we over push any type of contrast. I happen to be using a detail slider in an HDR look. I could be using dynamic contrast. I could be using Lightroom Clarity. Contrast in Aurora HDR. Pick a program that adds contrast. And if you push it too far, you're going to have this problem. What's going on is the tools are looking for differences in tone. They're trying to find edges. And so it's finding you know, edges, differences between these clouds here in this blue sky. And even in the different tones of blue, it's finding differences and then exaggerating them. And so you end up with this you know, pixelated, noisy result. So that's what's going on, Pete. Uh, you know, it's, it, chances are you're, you're pushing the sliders a bit too far. So you know, back those off. And if you find that if you're using, say, Lightroom at the front end of your processing, uh, then you want to add more of a contrast look with a different plugin, back off on the contrast work in Lightroom. Or you know, do it all in Lightroom and back off wherever you end up landing for your stylization. If you push things too far, you're going to see that crunchiness. And one other question today from Don, and he asked a question about Photo Raw. Can I tell that a photo has been developed or stylized in Photo Raw? Uh, well, the short answer is no, and that's actually kind of a surprising bummer, and I've already notified the On One guys about this one, and I think if uh, there's a Photo Raw project, pop on over there and say, hey, I, I want this feature, I want to add this in, I think it'd be useful. You know, kind of continuing on with this um, garishly horrible HDR treatment I've given to this, uh, this photo now, but uh, let me go return to the browse view. Now, the only way I could tell that this photo has been worked on is the preview is updated. So in this case, it's very obvious that I've done something to this photo, but there are no badges to indicate that, right? I don't have any star ratings. I could, I could assign a color. I could say a favor to reject it, but there's no other indicator to say this photo has undergone some type of adjustment, whether it be in develop or in effects. And I think that would be a very handy thing to add in, not only to the visual, the display here, but add that into our filters so we could find photos that have or haven't been developed. So I think that's a really good enhancement. And uh, again, I'm, I'm gonna shoot this over to the On One guys. I encourage everyone else to do the same if you wanna see this type of feature. So Don, really good question. Right now though, there's really uh, no solid answer other than you gotta look and if you've done a sufficient amount of adjustment, it should be obvious. And that's it for today's in post episode. Short, sweet, hope you've enjoyed it. Again, if you've got questions, send them on in to me. You can contact me through the website, comments on the video. And if you enjoyed this, let me know somehow. Thumbs up, likes, plus ones, share this with a friend. All that stuff is always appreciated. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.